Today is Wednesday, June 26, 2024. We're in Vermont uh, at Equinox today, parked at the Red Gate Trailhead on West Union Street in Manchester. We're gonna go up today to the summit via the Blue Summit Trail, and it's a pretty short hike. It's our first time here. I, there's an auto road that goes to the summit and I think there are facilities and things at the top too. Let's go check it out. We're about a mile and a half in on the Blue Summit. It looks like, I mean, oh, Upper Spring. So there is another trail, it continues there. There's a nice bench here. First bench we've seen. We just came through a section of white, like small white birches right here is really pretty. Up, up until right, behind there. The trail was like an old Jeep road. So you could walk side by side easily. But now it looks like this was, that was the end of the road. And it has been pretty steady climbing. We just had one little flat area right there where you could catch your breath. But the hike out and back should be around 5.4 and it's over 2,800 feet of gain. So steep. We're up near the summit. I'm not really sure where the actual summit is. Okay. I, Gaia has it marked right there where the high voltage tower is. This actually looks a little bit higher. It's a visitor's center. And you can drive up here and park, I do believe. It was very clear when we were driving into Vermont. And now it's like really hazy. Had no rain. I wonder if it's wildfire smoke. It's super hazy over on that side. All right, let's go see what the signs are. Maybe this is not open. There's no cars here. The view north. tower over there. I guess we're early. This is a nice building. It has nice picnic tables inside. The view south. Okay, Stratton. We're going there later. and then behind that there's two Spruce Peak and Grass Mountain. Okay, this is Equinox. I'm gonna ask her if she knows where the official summit is. We're finishing up our Equinox hike now. As you can see, the bottom 
portion of this is on a road. There's actually a private residence right behind us around the corner. <clears throat> I don't know how they access. There are tire tracks on here, but weird. It was a nice house too. Hey, there's another house right there. Yep. There's gotta be, isn't there another way in? I think there has to be, but this is private property down here. Um, yeah, we saw one other hiker and the lady at the summit was up there in the building, which is, uh, I guess that building is owned by an order of monks and the monastery is further down the hill on the other side. And it's open to the public, had nice bathrooms and places to eat and information about what the views were. Unfortunately, we were socked in up there, essentially. So our next stop is going to be about a half an hour drive away. We're gonna go up and do Dorset next, which should be, Dorset was on the longer side, like six and a half mile. Okay, this is our junction to Red Gate. We turn here or no? No, we go this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It runs together. Um, so we're gonna go do Dorset. And then after that, we're gonna go do Stratton. And that will finish up our New England 100 highest. Hopefully, we'll get some views on the other ones. All three of these had views. I think Dorset is, not, is a viewless summit, but there's a little sub peak before you get there that has a view out. So I see blue skies now and the sun is out. All right. We are at our second hike of the day, which is gonna be Dorset Mountain in Dorset, Vermont. We're going to be going up this, uh, I think it's like an ATV or a snowmobile trail, forest road goes, I think it goes all the way up to the summit. So it's not actually a hiking trail, but it is on Gaia and there's parking for mm, two to four cars at the end of Tower Road in Dorset. Part of that road is paved and part of it was dirt, but it's a really good dirt road with big houses, really expensive houses on it. So everything is, every car can pass it. We're about a mile and a half in, still on the forest road. And we are steadily climbing. We've been next to the water. It's down right next to us in this area. For most of the time, which means it's kind of buggy. But it should be pretty good going, coming out on this. It's just much like the last hike we did. There's a lot of gain. I think there's 2,400 feet over three miles or so. And I'm only at 700 and I'm a mile and a half in. So it's only gonna get steeper. The trail is not an official hiking trail, but it does have blue. When we get about two miles in, we're gonna be taking what looks like a footpath off of this on Gaia and the road continues. So I don't know if it's marked in any way. Oh look, it's the first one I've seen blooming. Oh, that's a type of winter green, I think. Got to look. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's flattening out a little. can't stop because the bugs are pretty bad. We're a little over two miles in. We just came from this way, which it felt more like a trail for the last, I don't know, half mile, three quarters of a mile. 
But on Gaia, it looks like a road, a dashed line, like a dirt road. And then it continues on as a dirt road on the map here, going downhill, which it does look like a road there. And going uphill, it becomes on Gaia a dashed line, but I'm sure it seems like just as much of a road <laughs> as what we were just on. Okay, so this is where we're headed. Before you get to Dorset's main peak, there's a side little loop that goes out to the south peak. And that has a view, I believe. So we're gonna head there. I'm not sure if we're gonna do it on the way in or the way out. I think we wanna have lunch at the view if we can. So it's all gonna depend on how long it takes. We're eating a snack right now. Whoa. Yeah, this was clearly a road. So that's good. I thought it might be overgrown, but it's not. It hasn't been overgrown. We're about a quarter mile past where we just were. And unfortunately, we're gonna be taking this route, which is uphill. This continues on nicely level, beautiful. Unfortunately, it does not go to a summit. All right, I think we have quite a bit of gain left. I feel like we're on the first flat piece of trail all day, and it's actually a lovely piece of trail. We just encountered a cairn on the right-hand side with a trail going off and up. It's uphill going that way. And that takes you to South Dorset, south, the South Peak of Dorset with the view and it should loop. So there should be another cairn and side trail not that far ahead. And we decided we're gonna hit that on the way back and hopefully be able to sit and enjoy a view while we have our lunch. I think we're about three tenths to half mile maybe from the summit of Dorset, hopefully closer to three tenths. We had some sun, but it keeps going away. I don't know if we have a view, it might look like it did over on Equinox, but we shall see when we get there. Hopefully it will have a breeze. made it up to the summit. There's a canister, which was relatively dry, but the book is full. I signed on an old page that wasn't all the way full. So if you're coming up, bring a new book. And it has old buckets and pitchers, a couple stumps to sit on, a herd path that comes in this way. And there was another herd path that came in on the left as you're leaving the summit. So I think it can be approached from other directions, although it was unclear to me how far you could drive in on those other ones. And so I didn't wanna, uh, yeah, see, this is a herd path right here. I didn't wanna go out of my way to try to get a shorter hike in and then end up having to do a longer hike and a longer drive, so. Tower Road, I think, is the traditional parking spot for this, the most heavily used, as far as I could tell. So that's what we did. Between the South Peak and the summit, they, we encountered a couple areas of pretty extreme mud, but this is not technically a trail. It's a herd path. So people had gone, well, we rock hopped and, and root hopped and stood on down trees and whatnot as much as we could, which was a lot of it. And then when it kind of was untenable, we um, followed a beaten herd path off to the side. And that area, I think you really had to do that. 
unless you want it to be <laughs> knee deep. I mean, my poles went in really far. It was probably about a 50 foot stretch that we had to avoid the herd path and take the other herd path in the woods. But worth noting, the other side of the loop that goes out to south did not have a cairn marking it, but it was pretty obvious where it was. And there was a tree that had two doorknobs on it on the opposite side of the path from it. But we're gonna head there next. There were also a couple side paths all on the left as we're going out now that one of, I mean, they had like little markers on them and things. So they're not on my Gaia. I don't know if they go out to views or camp, you know, illicit campsites or what. I have no idea, but we're not going to take the time to go out there today, but we are going to go to the South Peak. This is looking out from the South Peak of Dorset. There's a abandoned fire tower right behind John, right there. And the view is actually pretty nice, but again, it's so hazy. Way out in the distance here, it's easily visible with the naked eye, are the Adirondacks, giant mountain, Mount Marcy. And uh, it's just a shame that things aren't clearer. Okay, we're gonna have lunch. Head down and then drive over to Stratton. We are less than a mile from the car, I would say. And coming up to the really last notable thing, which is an abandoned homestead or of some sort. It has like an old refrigerator in it, I think. So I don't know how old it could be. But look at that. Also, that looks like a trailer or something in the back. Yep, it does look like something. Is this the place that had a name on it too? No. It was that was another one? Okay. So there are two, two places out here. One is this, which is clearly a building that collapsed with stuff in it. And the other one, I couldn't see in. It had an overgrown road and it had like a nice sign with the name of the family or whatever the name of the, their camp was on it. In any case, it's quicker going now. This is the last mile, so that was the least steep. I think we only gained like 440 feet in that first mile. So it's going to be quick going. And then should end up being about six and a half miles, maybe a little under that. Oh yeah, this was like our one, I think there were two water crossings. One of them was like dry maybe I can't remember but there's this one very rock hoppable there is water on this if you need to fill up there's another road right there hmm. yeah Coming up yeah, coming up we weren't sure until we looked at our map, but it turns out that the whole way was blazed in blue, except I think the little side path out to south didn't have any color on it, did it? I don't think so. But it's easy to follow, pretty much wide open, not overgrown. The mud at the top was the only really notable thing. I would say. Oh yeah, this is that drainage. We're gonna come away from the water here and then around and cross it. And for some reason, where we cross it, the water is underground or something. Cause then we're right, uh, right back against the water again, but there's no water at the crossing. It's really weird. Okay, so this was Dorset. One left, Stratton. The you can access it by the long trail, which was my initial thought. I was gonna come up from the south on the long trail, but we have decided to do short and steep instead. So we're gonna go over to the ski area 
they allow hiking. They have multiple ways that you can hike up it and we're, we're gonna opt for the steep way up at least. Maybe probably a steep way down too. Um, which goes along a lift line. So it's really straight up. And that should be like 2.1 to get up, I think, or 2.2, short and steep. 1,800 feet of gain, um, which is less than the other two hikes have been. So it's gonna be steep, but it shouldn't be as, hopefully, as bad. There should be lots of exposure on that hike. And the only other ski slope that we've done in Vermont is Killington. We also climbed it in June and it was totally overgrown. So there was like a little path, a little herd path through it. So I'm hoping that either they mow these or there's a path because I really don't want to be pushing through waist high <sighs> bug magnet stuff. So we'll see. It's an adventure, but we plan to do the long trail in its entirety at some point. So that's why we're, that's part of why we're deciding to do the short and steep instead of the long trail. Long trail would be like seven and a half miles round trip and slightly less gain too. I think it's like 1700 feet of gain, but that's okay. Right next to me is the dry waterbed. So weird. It was just there. Is that water I don't know. I think maybe it's on that side over there a little further. It's like it splits. I don't hear it. I don't hear it either. I feel like it went underground. It's very weird. And then it's like all of a sudden it'll be right next to us again. Okay. So this was Dorset. It was okay. Not my favorite for sure. And Equinox was also okay. <laughs> I'm not loving these trails, I gotta say, but that's okay. I'm not gritting this. What kind of bird is that right there? Huh. Oh, oh, crossbeak. See the red breasted mm -hmm. crossbeak right yep. there? Oh, I'm not zoomed in. All right, let me see if I can get something. We are at Stratton now. This is also a downhill biking trail, so we need to be careful of any bikers. And we're gonna go straight up. There are multiple hiking trails here, and this is the most direct, and therefore probably steepest. It leaves from the summit gondola. So next stop will be at the top of the um, gondola and then we'll be on a hiking trail from there on over to the fire tower. We're up at the summit now so we just came up right here. There's a bear right there. Oh I see it okay and then it's well marked that fire tower is this way although Looks like it goes right downhill, but actually there's a side trail right here. Point 0.75. Is it really that far? I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm 1.55 right now. So we're not there yet, but the bulk of the climb is, I think we have like 40 feet more. This is the Stratton Mountain Fire Tower. I believe we can go up. So I'm gonna do that. Stratton Pond, ATLT North. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that the truth?
are finishing up now, coming down. The black flies are atrocious. I think it's the time of day. Really, really bad right now. So, woo, hoo hoo, slippery. What can I say about Stratton? The fire tower was pretty cool. The long trail goes right by it, Appalachian Trail also. So you don't have to access it by coming up the ski slope, which is never fun. <laughs> um, however, we did just see indigo buntings. Well, I heard them and I saw one on the ski slope. We also flushed out three turkeys and they flew up into trees and roosted, which is really neat. Um, yeah, lots of good birds actually on the ski slope and interesting uh, plants that most of them are like non-native or yeah, some of them are native too, but you get things on ski slopes that you don't get other places because it's all disturbed land. So if you want to botanize, it's a good place to do it. Wildcat D has really good, interesting plants on it too. This should be about, I'm at 5.15 right now. So it should be like five and a quarter, or depending on where you start your tracking from. Coming right down into the resort. I'm at four and a quarter. We're at four and a quarter? No, what did you say? 4.16. And I'm five. Did I say five? I said five and a quarter. Ah, oh, throwing a little extra distance on four and a quarter. Yeah. Saw a few people hiking up the ski slopes today. Saw five or six people who were hiking the Long Trail slash Appalachian Trail up at the fire tower and saw nobody on Dorset and saw one hiker on Equinox. And then Equinox, you can drive up to the top so that we saw a couple who had driven up and the lady working up there. So it was a quiet day on these. We just talked to a guy who's section hiking <clears> the <throat> Appalachian Trail, and he is gonna come down the ski slope tomorrow and meet up his, with his wife. And he, he thinks he's gonna get off this section because it is way too muddy and go up to New Hampshire. So there you have it. We saw some mud today, but apparently it's muddy everywhere.